I couldn't fall asleep again Been overthinking all the little things I've said I'm sleep deprived Good morning! Taking long for a week in my life This is gonna be a kind of hectic but also chilled week <laughs> If that makes any sense Got my morning matcha as always And this is my outfit for today Super cozy, comfy This week I I have a few errands to run. I have a few things to do to prep for my trip to Spain, which I'm going on in two weeks now, which is absolutely crazy. It's so exciting. This trip has just like really caught up with me and I'm just not prepared, but I'm really, really excited. Um, and we have a few things for Cozy, my small business to do. Of course, um, we launched last week. So you missed that. I did do a launch vlog, super exciting. And I've just been getting so much love and support. It's so exciting. And we also have a vest and pet vest to knit up to send out, which I'm really excited about. So we got a lot to do. Seth bought me these beautiful flowers for the launch of Cozy. They're absolutely stunning. We also have Lil Miso sleeping behind me as always. Um, yeah, it's, this is going to be a chill little week, so I hope you enjoy. And I've got to go to the post office. I bought Miso a like car seat bed thing for the car, um, and that's just arrived at the post office, so I have to go pick that up. And then I have a few things for Cozy to do. I've had like a bunch of ideas for Cozy launch two. They've just been in my head for ages but I've not done anything with them because I wanted to just get through the actual launch of the brand but now that we're done I want to like draw up and design some ideas so I can get started knitting and crocheting things like that because um, it's a whole process from actually designing to making to then actually launching the product so other than that it's a pretty chill day pretty chill week so hope you enjoy Think instead. I know the sun is up and I got things to do, but I don't think I've got the energy to move. And I go back to my dreams again, but I shouldn't be sleeping when it's daylight now and I'm stuck in my bed. Bed has been set up, and now we just have to get me to it and see if she likes it. Taking Miso to see her new car seat. Do you think Miso do you like it? <laughs> okay, alright, alright. Let's go. She <laughs> got a stick. Oh, you've dropped it. You've dropped it. Shouldn't I? You get your stick? Get it. <laughs> okay. What's up? You want me to throw it? You want to throw the stick? Go! <laughs> I'm back home now and I'm gonna clean up my desk because it's not like too messy but I feel like there's just stuff everywhere and I just want to put everything back in its place so I can have a good, good clean desk and I can focus on working so I'm gonna do a bit of cleaning right now so let's do it. But it's keeping me feeling so amazing Stubborn, stretch Brush my hair, always looking like a mess Only me, I could go and do the rest Give it a little more fit, I'll be set Okay, it's been a few hours of me working I've been working on the next launch for Cozy Which is really exciting The only sneak peek you're gonna get is I think this is gonna be a crochet collection I'm not too sure yet though over the past few months i've just been like seeing all these different designs and thinking up all these different things and i've just drawn out my ideas all onto one page so i can kind of see them and see a collection kind of forming and yeah like i said i've drawn out a few things so now i'm gonna actually crochet a little bit uh, that's kind of part of the product development testing i guess is actually making the products and it takes a lot of time takes a lot of yarn costs a lot of money so i want to just start you know making the pieces slowly here and there because what happened the last time in the design process for my current launch is i designed a few things i made a few things and ended up not liking them for 
all different reasons. The big part of the product development process is actually finding a yarn supply and finding sustainable yarns. Um, testing out different types of yarn if I want to use wool or cotton or things like that so there's a lot that goes into this but for, but for now I'm just using whatever I have in my collection just to kind of bring the idea to life so so it's a long long process so anyway I am gonna do some crocheting now which is crazy that I can technically call that work because it just feels like I'm slacking off and like not working but it's work so let's do this Stuck in my bed Day and night Never feel my best I know Oh well But there's a Just told me that she watches my TikToks. This is the third interaction I've had in the past like few days where people have told me that they that they watch my content, they love my content. So that's really cool. Anyway, I have some sewing that I want to do. Nothing too crazy, but there's some few things I want to mend. Namely this skirt. There, there's just like a little rip in the lace here. And I just don't want it to become a bigger hole. I don't even know if you can see that. But so we're going to mend that. And then I also bought these new linen trousers from a Sabo skirt for my upcoming trip to Spain. But they're just way too long. So I need to hem them. So I also have this dress that I thrifted in Paris. And it just came with little rips at the armpits on both sides. So, so I've got to mend those. Nothing too big of a project. Nothing too interesting. But... I'm gonna have a little chilled sewing moment. So let's do it. We used to have each other's playlists. No, no, used to be each other's best friends, yeah, and now we go our separate pathways, but your heart's still in mine, yeah, and maybe we could try it next week, again, but I don't want to think what's toxic, but who cares? Okay, don't mind all the rubbish in the back, but look at my pants. They are literally the perfect length. I'm so, so happy. My first time hemming pants and look, they're not perfect. My seams aren't perfectly straight, but I think they're pretty, pretty good. We also successfully fixed the skirt. I actually don't even know where the hole was but I found another hole there were two holes in this skirt and I mean yeah I don't even know where it is but same with this dress the underarms are uh, perfect so yeah I'd say that was pretty successful sewing to me is still such a new hobby and I just get kind of nervous doing it I feel like it's so much more intimidating to me than like knitting or crocheting but I'm slowly you know getting there I feel like I'm slowly building my confidence with sewing I do definitely want to you know actually make some clothing with the sewing machine but for now i think this was really fun and really cool to be able to kind of hem this all and I fix all my clothes by myself that's also one of the reasons why i even bought the sewing machine in the first place is so that i can fix up clothing and if i find clothes in thrift stores that i want to mend i can and like do a thrift flip with i can do that and just i want to make the longevity of my clothes last so much longer so Definitely getting more confident sewing will help me with that. Anyway, thank you for joining me on my sewing journey. I'm gonna go have some food. I'm back from the hairdressers. Don't mind my hair though, because I was just walking and it's super windy outside, but I just got a little bit of a trim and a fringe refresh she also thinned out my hair and it feels so much better also i just stopped off at chemist warehouse to pick up some prescriptions but i also got some other things and 
I guess I want to show you. So, so if I needed a new shampoo and I actually used this one when I was in Paris and I really liked it and so I thought I'd get it. And everything from Chlorine was on sale. So that was amazing. I got the Nourishing Dry Hair Shampoo with Mango. It smells really good. I also got the Soothing Sensitive Scalp Conditioner with Peony. And this just looked really good to me. I got the same Peony kind of range. This is their Soothing Serum. And I've just like spray this in your hair and massage it in. It's supposed to soothe your scalp. I feel like when the temperatures kind of change, like when the seasons change, my scalp always gets super itchy. I don't know why. So I feel like that's going to be great for it. I got a new eyelash curler and mascara. Um, honestly, I got this one because it's pink. <laughs> and that's cute. But I realize I haven't gotten a new eyelash curler for like years. Like I feel like the last time I got a new eyelash curler was genuinely in high school. So thought it was time to get one. I'm trying to open this, but I can't. So anyway, it's pink. It looks cute. It's from Manicare and it's also on sale. And then I also saw this new mascara from Maybelline. And I used to love Maybelline mascaras. I've been using the Rare Beauty one pretty much for like a year and I really love it. I like, don't get me wrong. I love it so much, but I wanted to get a waterproof mascara. And so I thought I'd try the new Maybelline. It's the Falsies. And I used to love the Falsies. This is the Falsies Surreal. I also love the packaging, like come on, lilac purple, how can I say no? I'm a sucker for packaging, so that's my little mini haul from Chemist Warehouse. Anyway, I've got some editing to do, I actually have to edit this vlog that you're currently watching. Um, so I'm gonna do that, and yeah, that's basically it. I really want to try this mascara right now, but I actually did a lash lift and like an eyebrow perm last night. I have an at home lash lift kit that I got from Amazon a few months ago. And so I can't get my lashes wet for, I usually do at least like 12 to 24 hours. So I did it last night. So by tomorrow, I'll be able to try out the mascara. So maybe I'll check back in tomorrow and we can see how the mascara is. Because I'm really intrigued. I love Maybelline mascara, so I feel like it'll be good. But we shall see. Anyway, I'm going to do some work now. So Okay. Hello. I tried the Maybelline mascara this morning. What do you guys think of it? I don't know how to feel about it because obviously I did a lash lift so my lashes are going to be quite curled but I feel like it looks good. I think the formula right now and it's the same with any kind of new mascara, the formula is quite wet and I prefer a drier formula. Anyway, so far I like it. I'm more just worried about how it's going to be to take it off because it is a waterproof mascara but we're going to find that out tonight but anyway this morning i have just been filming some stuff i usually like to have like one big batch filming day and so i've already done some stuff i have to film for obviously my own socials and then cozy socials so i've done a bit for both of those but now i'm actually going to be filming my packing for spain video which i'm really excited about i leave in just under two weeks now um, so I'm going to start packing what I can so I can get that video up for you guys but I'm really really excited so yeah we're going to be packing packing is like my favorite thing as well I love packing for a trip I think it's so much fun and I did do a packing for Paris video if you guys want to watch that but a packing for Spain video is coming very soon so yeah let's go and do that We've spent most of the afternoon packing. I am so tired, but we've made a good start. There's my suitcase and other things there. There's still a bunch of stuff for me to pack, but it's still a week and a half away. So there's still some things I'm going to be using whilst being here, like my chargers, my hair tools. So for now, we've packed everything that we can pack that I'm not going to be using. But we also have some packages here to unbox for Cozy. So I thought we could do that. There's a whole bunch of things. I'm pretty sure this is my tissue paper that I've ordered. This is my yarn. And I've also got a Vista print order. So let's get unboxing. I ordered more of my thank you cards because as I showed you in, I can't remember which small business vlog it was, but in one of my last small business vlogs, I had only ordered 10 cards. And I mean, me being optimistic, I'm hoping we're going to get more than 10 orders, so I've ordered 30 more, so now I have 40 cards in total, and I can't bother opening these, but if you watch that vlog, you can have a look at what my thank you cards look like. And I ordered more of my little miso 
die cut stickers because they're the, they're just the cutest and I wanted more of them so she's so cute um so I have 30 of these as well just in this little envelope so these will come in all of your orders this oh my gosh is my big order of tissue paper and this is actually huge this is the perfect size the perfect shade I'm very happy with that if you watched my last vlog you will have known all of the packing drama I'm pretty sure this was my launch vlog I had a bit of drama with the tissue paper because I had ordered some previously but it was just the wrong size and it's always the way ordering things like this online you just never know the sizing um, so this was also a bit of a risk to try and order this online but I'm so glad it's a perfect shape, it's a perfect size. So Finally, the most exciting order is the yarn. I ordered this after launch day so I could get started on stitching some orders. And I also have a giveaway winner's prize to knit, so we just need some more yarn. Anyway, here is the yarn. Oh my goodness. So we have a bunch more of my purple yarn to make my Paris sweater. But I also, a little sneak peek, have ordered some yarn for another kind of collection idea that i want to do so i'm loving this color this is so pretty ah this is so cute all right i've just opened the second box of yarn so we have so many oh my gosh i'm so happy oh my gosh i'm so excited to start knitting up some orders yay we belong together me and you forever Tell me where you've been, yeah Since I break, I'm sorry that I blamed ya For things you can't control, I've been in a daze I left my heart out to you So you could see me through Though you still deserve better You stick with me, cause everything